Hello again and welcome to another edition of Cross Shots and this edition is all about creating better action plans and using a chart to help you do that and here is the chart and uh, this chart was given to me by a friend and mentor of mine called Alan Weiss and Alan is a, a coach, a consultant and, and a writer and he must have written over 50 management books, a man's a genius but anyway he shared this particular chart um, with me and it's all about developing better action plans and if you think about any if you think about any issue you, you're facing and any plan of action you're trying to create there are two dimensions to it really firstly there's the timing effect you could be dealing with issues of the past or you could be dealing with potential issues in the future and you could be either dealing with the effect of that situation or trying to tackle its root cause and if you create that two by two chart, there are then four boxes that you want to look at. So if we take the example of leaking water pipes, then if you're dealing with the, the effect of a past situation, so the water pipes are leaking, you then have some adaptive actions you can take. You can put a bucket of water um, under, the, under the leaking pipe and then kind of just manage the, the, the buckets as, as they fill up. Or... You could call in a plumber and you could fix the leak. You could get some welding done. They are corrective actions. So they are all about when, when the leak has happened. They are actions of the past. If you think about the future and dealing with the cause, then really you're taking preventative actions. You are um, you're doing maintenance on the pipework. You're making sure no leaks exist. But you might just... Um, decide to deal with the effects of potential future actions. So you take some contingent actions. You have some buckets at the ready if, um, if you have a future leak. So with any action plan, you're probably doing a mixture of all of these four types of actions. Um, but what you find is for many situations, you end up getting trapped in the adaptive box. You put the metaphorical buckets under the leaking tap rather than taking the corrective action or taking the preventative or contingent action. So why don't you use this chart? Use it with your teams, use it with the issues that you're facing at the moment and use it to try and get a more balanced approach to developing a more effective, a better plan of action. Thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you next time.